Hello there, my name is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will just uh, do a Vala wallet dashboard walkthrough. Uh, but before we do that, I thought that I would just walk you through this beautiful page that I created for you, uh, where I put together everything that you need to know in order for you to be able to uh, get started and uh, dollar cost average your way into the cryptocurrency space and build your diversified crypto portfolio to the moon and beyond. So on this page, you'll find tutorial videos like uh, the registration tutorial video and where it says click here to register your uh, crypto wallet. Uh, when you click on that button, you'll be redirected to a page where you can uh, register your uh, cryptocurrency wallet. And uh, there is a download button here to download the app so that you can easily access it on your smartphone. Account verification tutorial video. That's the video that shows you exactly how to uh, verify your account after you have registered your crypto exchange um, wallet. After that, we have the FNB account linking and auto buy crypto. So that tutorial video shows you exactly how to go about uh, connecting or um, configuring your things such that um, everything runs um, almost 100% automatically using the bank, uh, the FNB bank account. If you are using a standard bank account, that's a tutorial for you. This one here will show you how to do that. If you are using a Capitec bank account, this video tutorial will show you how to use your Capitec bank together with your Vala uh, wallet to dollar cost average into crypto, into, in other words, to invest in crypto automatically. And then this video tutorial here, tackle to sell crypto and withdraw fiat to your bank. That one will show you how to um, sell your cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Avalanche, Solana, and many more for ZA, and then withdraw your ZA to your bank account. And then right now you are watching this one titled Vala Wallet Dashboard Workthrough. So I'm walking you through this page first, and then we're going to jump into the Vala uh, Wallet Exchange and uh, take a look at how it looks like. And, and then we have uh, the download your free crypto voc vocabulary copy. So when you click on that button, uh, you'll be able to download your free copy so that you can uh, learn more about uh, cryptocurrencies, especially, you know, the, mo the commonly used terms in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. So it's important that you understand these basic words and terms uh, that I use so that, um, you know, you, you move from a crypto noob into a cryptocurrency pro. Join our students WhatsApp group. So uh, if you were to share this link, to this page with anyone when they click on it they can also click on this button the whatsapp group button to join our whatsapp group so that they can get support when they need it and then the disclaimer button allows you to download yeah, the disclaimer page because everything that we do here and we talk about here it's not financial advice so it's important that we also have this disclaimer and uh, the mission statement, <laughs> my mission is to onboard 10,000 people or 10,000 participants into the world of crypto. Obviously, I am not going to be able to pull this off alone. So that is why I would like to also encourage you to share the link to this page with as many people as you uh, you would uh, like so that they can they too can also be empowered uh, with knowledge and skills that would allow them to also create and grow diversified crypto portfolios just like you. So that's all I'm asking uh, from you to help me with. Just share this information with as many people as you possibly can. And then right at the bottom of this page, we have three buttons. So the WhatsApp button that allows you to uh, connect with me directly and chat with me directly in my WhatsApp inbox. You can um, also uh, follow me on Facebook and uh, Twitter now called X. Now that we have done that, let us now jump in to the Vala wallet and just browse through it. All right, so I'm logged on to my Vala wallet now and at the bottom left here, you can see that the home tab is selected. That's why you see all the buttons that you see at the top there. So starting from the top, uh, where it says total portfolio value, that's where you would see the total portfolio value of your uh, Vala uh, exchange. But obviously my one is hidden uh, just for security reasons. 
and then we have the deposit button obviously when you click the deposit button that will uh, allow you to deposit fiat or crypto so by default fiat is selected so if you are in south africa you can just press on south african rent and then you would uh, select uh, via eft and then uh, regardless of whether you choose the first or the second option you will see the same thing for instance if i click on uh, transfer from standard bank i will see the bank details that i can use to transfer money from my bank uh, any bank that i'm using to these banking details which belong to Vala. If I go back and uh, click on a transfer from another bank, say I'm banking with FNB, well, well, we will see the same page, you know, so it's just, just the same thing. So make sure that you do uh, EFTs when you are transferring money from your bank to your Vala account. And uh, make sure that you watch the tutorial videos where I show you exactly how to go about doing the deposits, but it's very easy. You just take these banking details and uh, put them into your bank app and uh, then just uh, deposit money into your Vala account and then just buy some crypto. Let's go back to the starting page. Um, when you press the crypto uh, tab or crypto button here, you can be able to also deposit crypto like USDT, Shiba Inu, Binance Coin, Bitcoin, and many others. So say for instance, uh, you want to deposit Bitcoin from uh, another crypto exchange, maybe from your Binance to your uh, Vala, you can just click on Bitcoin and then you can either scan the QR code to receive Bitcoin or to deposit button. I mean, to deposit, uh, to, to deposit Bitcoin from any exchange like Binance, KuCoin, OKX, and many more into your Vala wallet. Or you can just copy and uh, share the link, not the link, but the address with anyone who would like to send you Bitcoin into your Vala uh, account or wallet. Let's just go back. We have the withdraw button. Obviously, if you want to withdraw your fiat currency like South African rents into your bank account, you just click on withdraw and then click on South African rent. And then you, if you haven't linked any bank account, you would need to add your bank account here to indicate where you want to, uh, you know, uh, send your money to. So if I click on my bank account number here, I can add a new bank account. You can already see that I have linked uh, three bank accounts. So if I want to add another one that belongs to me, I would uh, click on add new bank account. And then I would have to specify the bank name, bank details basically here, and then authorize it by email. And then I will be able to withdraw my ZA into my uh, bank account right there. Then if I want to withdraw uh, crypto into another crypto wallet, maybe I want to send some um, USDT from my Vala wallet into my Binance, OKX, or KuCoin, or any other crypto exchange, I can withdraw from my Vala into that crypto exchange right here. Let's go back. Auto buy, they, they are quite, there's, I think it's about 27 minutes long um, tutorial video where I show you how to use the auto buy uh, crypto. Uh, option there which is a beautiful beautiful crypto just make sure that you watch that video and you would learn exactly how to go about using the auto buy feature in Vala staking you can also stake some uh, cryptocurrencies on uh, Vala and and some uh, decent annual percentage rate or APR uh, so if you swipe a couple of times and uh, click on I'm ready you'll be able to see the list of the cryptocurrencies that you can already stake for instance as of me recording this video they have AVEX which is Avalanche and Solana that you can stake and 5.9% and 5.51% uh, 5, uh, 5 uh, respectively, uh, respectively on a uh, yearly basis. If you have a stake in history, you can see it here, but I do not have in my example. And then we have um, the pay button. So we'll click on pay. You can actually pay anyone with Vala Pay. Uh, all Vala Pay transactions are free, fast, and easy. If you swipe, you can see that you can even send cash or crypto to anyone with a mobile number or email address. And then when you swipe some more, you can also receive cash or crypto from anyone else who is also using a Vala or who's got an Vala account. So once you're ready to uh, get started with uh, sending or receiving money or crypto uh, through Vala, you can just click on Get Started. And then you can um, send and receive uh you know, uh, crypto or fiat through Vala with your friends. But I'm not going to go deep into this. 
uh, feature I'm just because, because I'm just showing you around. Oh, I forgot to cover the refer button. If you click on the refer button here, you can actually uh, share your referral code with uh, anyone who might be interested in using the Vala app, or you can just click on the share referral link button there at the bottom there and be able to share it with whoever might be interested in getting started in the cryptocurrency space. Let's go back. Then we have something that says uh, Vala Pay with BTC at all pick and pay stores in South Africa. So if you want to see details on how to go about uh, paying for goods and services at uh, pick and pay using your Vala wallet, um, you can just click on where it says more, and then uh, you'll see more information there. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see the top 10 gainers and losers. So the gainers button is selected. You can see that Crow is up 6% today and uh, Flare is up 3.9% uh, today and so on and so forth. If you want to see the top 10 losers of the day, you just click on the losers button and then you can see that uh, this one Rev, I mean Rev V version 2 is down by 20.52% today uh, PVX is down by 9.85% today and so on and so forth all right and then if you go up to this menu at the top right corner here uh, there are several options that you can uh, browse through for instance you can take a look at the history of the transactions that have taken place in your Vala wallet and then we have payment methods if you want to um, link your bank account so that you can be able to withdraw to your bank account this is where this is another place you can also add your uh, bank account in order for you to be able to withdraw your South African rents into your South African bank, right? For instance, for ZA, I can add more bank details that are belonging to me. When we go back, we can also see the address, the wallet address book. Uh, we can add new addresses if you want to save them, if you know that you're going to be paying them on a regular basis. And then uh, under sub accounts, you can. Uh, I'm ne I've never used this one here, create sub accounts. I haven't found any reason why I should um, create sub accounts, but you can learn more about how to do that if you, that's, that's something that uh, is of interest to you. Account shared with me. I don't have any accounts shared with me, but Vala use web. Or you can use um, Vala web to access the full functionality of shared accounts. Again, I have no idea how the shared accounts work because uh, it's, not, it's not something that I'm using. But security definitely are to have some security features turned on, like for instance, the two-factor authentication. If you want to protect your account using SMS and or maybe an app to verify. Uh, transactions or to log in and uh, to log in into your app you, must, uh, you can turn these uh, security features on or off you can also even unlock with um, biometric if you want to unlock your wallet with biometric like uh, putting your thumb or your facial expression and so on and so forth you can also restrict um, crypto withdrawals if you click on here you can actually restrict uh, crypto withdrawals so this would enable but, I mean, uh, enable this only allow withdrawals to addresses you, you would have added to your address book. But you must note that uh, Vala Pay will be disabled if you turn on this feature here that says with crypto withdrawals uh, to address book only. So uh, you will, you won't be able to use your uh, Vala app to pay at at any pick and pay stores in South Africa. So think twice before you uh, enable this uh, feature here. So let's just go back uh, under security. We have settings under settings. We have a couple of settings we can turn on or off. For instance, you can decide to hide all balances, um, which is good as well, because you don't want anyone to just uh, see your balances when they're just passing by you. Or you can decide you can also decide to hide uh, zero balances and just, um, you know, take a look at uh, only the, the, the wallets that are containing some balances in them. Uh, display currency by default is South Africans if you are in South Africa, but, but you can choose between USDT uh, Zimbabwe dollar, I think, and there or BTC. And then um, haptic, haptic feedback, I have no idea what that is, to be honest. Then under settings, you can set a price alert as well. Uh, for instance, if you click on that, you can see my um, price alert that I had in place a long time ago. I was hoping that uh, maybe Bitcoin would still, you know, go below 80,000 rents, which is something that I, th I don't think it will ever happen anymore and even 125,000 bitcoin i don't think that bitcoin will ever be below that but right but let's say i just want to send i mean to set another price alert uh, you just click on create alert then i want to say if bitcoin so i just click on bitcoin if bitcoin is above so i just click on the above button is above 
and then say uh, 700,000 I want to be notified. So I can say I want to be notified uh, through not, uh, push notifications and um, email as well. I want Avala to email me once Bitcoin hits or goes above 700,000. So I will just then click on create, uh, you know, a price alert. As you can see now, I have that price alert at the bottom there. Let's create another one. I also want to be notified when uh, Ethereum um, goes above, so above, above 50,000 rands, 50,000 rands, because right now it's um, 30,000 rands uh, per coin, per Ethereum coin. So I also want to receive an email notification when this happens as well, uh, and then click on create, right? So I will be notified when this happens. So you can create as many price alerts as you want for any available cryptocurrency within the Vala app. Let's go back. And then under uh, reference, if you want to see, if you press reference, as I showed you earlier on, you can uh, share your referral code with whoever might be interested in uh, trying Vala and uh, creating a uh, strong and diversified crypto portfolio. You can share your link as well, as I showed you earlier on. And then we have help and support. If you happen to need some help, you can actually log a ticket on the web. You can visit the help center. If for whatever reason you want to delete your, your Vala account, this is where you can do so. You can also follow um, Vala on um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and also be able to get support through those channels as well. If you believe that maybe your account uh, has been compromised, you can actually block your account and then report it to uh, Vala. So maybe you think that someone might have, uh, you know, gotten access to your Vala account and uh, you want to stop anything that might happen. You can actually block it so that uh, um, they cannot, you know, withdraw your money from your Vala account. And obviously, if you click the sign out button, that will allow you to sign out of your Vala account. All right. So all of that was under the home page let's go to the wallets page now so i just click on wallets um on wallets you'll be able to see again your total portfolio value at the top there and today's uh profit or loss you will see it there but my one is hidden of course and then uh, on this page you can also do the auto buy um crypto strategy as well and then you'll see the list of all the cryptocurrencies that you have or don't have in your vala wallet under the wallets page now let's go to the buy or sell page. If you want to buy or sell a cryptocurrency, maybe you have funded your wallet with uh, some South African rands or whatever or whatever fiat currency you are using in the country where Vala is available. You can just click on buy or sell. And then uh, the buy button is selected. So I can say, for instance, if I wanted to buy Bitcoin, for instance, and then pay with uh, ZA or South African rands, and then I would I would just select all if I want to set, to use my uh, entire balance that might be there in my ZA wallet or rent wallet. Or I can say uh, maybe I have 5,000, but I want to use, uh, let's say, say 1,000 uh, to buy Bitcoin, for example. I can just specify that and then be able to cl click the review button and then uh, buy Bitcoin with that specified amount. All right. If I want to sell Bitcoin, maybe I have some Bitcoin that I have in my Vala wallet. I want to sell Bitcoin for whatever crypto or fiat. I can just select sell the sell button over there and then choose the crypto I want to sell. Say in this case, we we'll say I want to sell uh, Bitcoin again. So I can just select Bitcoin and then I say uh, and then say I want to sell it for Zai, USD coin or USDT. And then um, just uh, indicate how much of it I want to sell. I can also click the use all button to sell it all for Zai and then uh, press review and confirm. That's how you'd go about uh, selling any crypto or any fiat for any crypto or for any uh, you know um, fiat currency that's available on Vala wallet and then markets if you press the, pre, uh, the the markets button you get to see the markets page and the default button that is selected is the za if you are in South Africa so you can see the prices of all um, cryptocurrencies uh, in South African range denomination and uh, if you want to check them in the BTC you can just press BTC Ethereum USDT or USDC depending on what it is that you want to do but all the buttons are all there the default one is za if you are in South Africa you can see that Bitcoin uh, is how much today the Bitcoin is um, 520 
520,823 as of me recording this video. And Cardano is 478 cents as of me recording this video. Avalanche is 174 rands uh, as of me recording this video. And so on and so forth. All right. So now when we go to, let's go to the exchange uh, button here and to open the exchange page. And by default, the charts page will be uh, displayed. Uh, allowing you to see the charts but uh, you know these charts are just basic man basic 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 but if you click on the buy and sell tab uh, you'll be able to actually place limit orders if you want to place limit orders um, and then if you click this down arrow here you can also execute market orders which are like uh, which are the same as uh, spot um, uh, trades but uh, when you click on here you can place uh, even stop limit uh, you can choose the order type you want to do. Whether you are buying or selling, you can just switch between the buy or sell buttons here, depending on whether you want to buy or sell any cryptocurrency. All right. When you click on the orders button, you should be able to see uh, any open orders if you have any. And then if you have completed some orders, you will also click on it there and be able to see a completed orders if you have any charts. We've already seen this one order book. If you want to uh, view the order book, if you understand what an order book is and how it works, you can just view it here. Trading history. If you have traded before, you can be able to see the trading history here that is um, under history. And uh, yeah, man. By doing all of that, we have been able to quickly go through uh, the Vala uh, dashboard. I hope that uh, this video tutorial or walkthrough uh, has been informative um, to you. And if it has, please consider sharing this page or this link with anyone you think might be able to I mean, might be interested in uh, learning uh, the basics of uh, crypto investing. So um, we started from uh, we started on this page basically. I just showed you all these video tutorials. So if any or all of these video tutorials uh, did teach you or help you uh, when it comes to Vala, please, please, please consider sharing this link. Uh, to this page with as many people as you uh, possible can to empower as many people as we can with the information and skills that they need in order for them to be also able to be part of the crypto revolution. So with all of that being said, my name is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. I thank you so much for spending uh, the minutes that you spent on this Vala walk through to this Vala wallet dashboard to walk through. Alrighty. So with all of that being said, my name is Moza the Giant from Depend South Africa. Let's get this crypto. Bye for now.